guys welcome back to my channel so we're going to talk about javi from team mom um so a few days ago he actually posted this really heartfelt message on his instagram right and it looks like kale and lauren they are not believing it they're they actually posted the same post after he posted his like heartfelt message so i'm going to get into that with you guys also kale and hobby they are not getting along right now and it has to do with their son's sports situation so i'm going to tell you guys all about that right now okay so um i follow hobby kale and lauren all on their social media accounts i know i follow them on instagram i'm not sure about twitter kale don't even have a twitter anymore i think she got rid of hers a while back but i follow them on instagram and i saw some of this not all of it but the Ashley has a really good article up about it. And I'm going to go off this article. I'm going to um, just kind of break this down for you guys. So it says, Javi shares his regret over cheating on Lauren. Both Lauren and Kale hint he's pretending to be a good person. Javi took his Instagram account over the weekend to talk about fatherhood, his reason for leaving Team Mom 2, and the regret he has over cheating on his baby mama, then girlfriend, Lauren. Javi told fans that the last two years of his life have been some hard years to get by. And he talks about how he believes he's a good dad to his sons, but he questions if he's actually a good man for them to look up to. Like if he don't think he's a good role model. And unfortunately, I mean, when you see the pictures of him with his children, um, his boys, like he's their coach. He is constantly playing with them. He's very involved, right? So, he does seem to be a good dad. Like, I don't think that's anything that we can deny. However, his actions outside of being a father, like the cheating, you know, if you're preaching not to do that, but you're doing it, then you may not be the best role model for your child to look up to. And he recognizes that. That's the thing, though. He does recognize that. So, Javi posted this heartfelt message to his Instagram account, and then afterwards both of his baby mamas seem to be shading him because they posted the same exact post talking about someone put more time into pretending to be a good person than actually being one so i'm going to read javi's message and then i'm going to read what lauren and kale posted on their ig accounts okay so it says it's not often that i have some serious time to sit down and reflect on my life these last two years have been some hard years to get by I wonder and question when I'll ever get out of this season I'm in. Then I think, okay, God put me here for a reason. A lot of you say I'm a good dad, which I'm truly grateful and humble. But am I a good man for them to look up to? Sure, I'm present at all their activities. I play with them, put them to bed. But am I setting an example of a man I want them to become? I can't preach it without them seeing it. Not oftentimes do I talk about how I really feel and the constant reminders of the battles that I face day in and day out. I thought being off team mom three years ago would let me live a normal life. Be able to spend time with my family without people pretending to take pictures of something else, but really taking pictures of me and my kids. Just come and say hi. I'd rather you do that than me be annoyed since I clearly see you trying to take a picture. Be able to go out with my son's mother and not worry about someone take a picture of us spending family time together and then ending up on a troll page. Some of you don't know what the feeling is like to just want to take your kids to a water park without a picture of us being taken. None of that to sound ungrateful for the memories or opportunities. Then I look at my personal relationships. I want to value the friendships I have and value the encounters with people. Like if you ask for a picture, chances are I'm gonna start a combo or just thank you for the support or whatever the case may be. A friend of mine told me, your last few years have been so unstable and that's a crappy feeling to live with. I drove three hours to this place thinking about my life and she summed it up in one sentence. I had everything I wanted, everything I dreamed of and I messed it up. The greatest person in my life I hurt. Not sure if it'll ever be repairable, but I pray that it is and one day it'll go back to how it should have been. I live with that hurt every day. Choose your hand and fight for it at all costs. Not really sure why I'm going with this, but just be kind. Everyone is battling their own issues. Exodus 14, 14. Now it actually said, choose your heart and fight for it at all costs, but I think he meant hand. Okay, so in this post, he talks about his children, being a good dad, but clearly not being a good role model. He talks about how he quit team mom and he thought that it would allow him to live a normal life. I do have to imagine 
you know, going out to eat with your significant other and then seeing people taking pictures of you and then seeing them end up on a troll page has got to be difficult. Because I would imagine anytime after that, you're terrified to see people taking pictures. You're like, oh my God, is my hair okay? What am I wearing? Do it, does it look decent? Is my Do I look fat in this, you know? So I would have to imagine that has to be difficult. So he goes on to address his relationship with Lauren, admitting to his fans that he regrets some of his past actions, which how could he not? Now, Team Mom fans know that Lauren found out that Javi had been trying to hook up with Kale in the Wawa parking lot back in, I think it was like October. Yeah, it was a episode of Team Mom where Kale got mad at Javi and she let it slip that Javi had been trying to hook up with her in the Wawa parking lot. Um, that was when Lauren found out as well and they did split up. Kale later apologized to Lauren for humiliating her on TV, but the damage was done. And I do have to say, like, I remember thinking, this ain't the first thing to the end. Like, just reading their messages, because they actually showed the phone, like, with the messages, like, hey, I'm gonna slide through today. I'm leaving the gym. You home? It led me to believe that, like, this happens, you know? It wasn't, like, a one-time incident where he just, like, casually said, like, you're looking fine right now in them pants standing here in this wild, wild parking lot. Let me jump in this ride with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think... I don't know. Anyways, he talks about how he had everything that he wanted, everything that he dreamed of, and he messed it up. Now, he ended this caption by saying, just be kind. Everyone is battling their own issues. Following this post, like following Javi's lengthy post on his Instagram account, both Kale and Lauren reposted identical quotes on social media about being a good person versus pretending to be a good person. So, I'm going to show you guys a screenshot, and um, I actually got this off the Ashley Reality Roundup, but she got it from TeamMom.T, um, which TeamMom.T has a lot of TeamMom.T. So, if you like TeamMom.T, go follow that account on Instagram because she is always up to date on what's going on with everyone in the Team Mom world. So, it says, if you put as much effort into being a good person as you do pretending to be a good person, you could actually be a good person. Both of their posts reads. I'm like, we know they're not friends, right? Like, we know they're not hanging out buddy-buddy and decided together to post this. I feel like one posted it. So, Lauren posted it first, and then Kale posted it, like, four and a half hours later. So, maybe someone sent it to Kale, and she was like, you know what? That's a good post. I'm going to post it as well. I highly doubt they spoke about this and was like, hey, let's post this. I don't feel like they're friends. You know, now days after Javi was on Instagram sharing his feelings and getting some shade from his baby mamas, Kale revealed on her Coffee Combos podcast that she and Javi were recently at odds over their son Lincoln's involvement in football. So according to Kale, she actually sponsors uh, Lincoln's team. The podcast does. So Coffee Combos sponsors Lincoln's football team and Javi is the coach mixing, you know, personal with business. Kale claims that they are not seeing eye to eye due to Javi wanting to take the kids across America to play in tournaments. Now, mind you, these kids are like seven, you know, they're young, which there are people that are that invested in it. You know, my kids play football and we do travel like an hour and a half at the most out, but he wants to travel. So, she talks about it saying that he actually wants to take the kids to Dallas to a tournament. And she said that if she had her camper right now, that she would be down for it. Like, if it was just her and she didn't have to think about all these other kids and their parents. And also the fact that she has three more kids. She's like, you know, if it was just me and I just had my camper and I could just grab Lincoln and we could go, like, that would be fine and dandy. But she says, we can't really do that. She says, because she don't know how the parents would feel about it. And she has to think about her other children as well. She says, it would actually be amazing. But I told Hobby, listen, they're not in high school. They're not getting scouted right now. Let's just stick to the local tournaments. I think that'd be good for them. Like local tournaments is fine. It's not like they're going to be mad if they don't get to go to Dallas to play, right? Six-year-olds, seven-year-olds? I wouldn't think so. And then she went on to say he will literally follow up with her every two or three days and be like, registration is filling up. Like, hey, if we're going to do this cross-country tournament thing, like, we need to go ahead and register for it because they're filling up. And Kale's like, no, I already told you. We're not going to Dallas. Chill out. She also says she told him, like, unless you're going to be the one financing it, uh, we're not doing it. She says, because I've got four kids I would have to take as well. So, 
that's what it is, you guys. Kale and Lauren are both seeming to shade Javi over his, uh, you know, it seemed like a heartfelt post, right? They're like, no, 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 you're taking way too much time pretending to be a good person um, when you're not. Uh, I really think that, I 100% I, I think that Javi sought Kale out. That was something that Kale said a while back. She's like, I found out that Javi knew who I was. He knew that I worked at the mall. And that's why he was coming, like, to try to, like, scoop me up, you know. I absolutely believe that. Um, I absolutely believe that Javi wanted a little bit of fame. Um, I do think that he fell for Kale, though. Like, I don't know if he liked her at first, but I think that he fell for her. And obviously, he has messed up a lot. But I think when you hit rock bottom, and I feel like he probably has uh, the worst rock bottom Javi has ever seen, you know. Um, I feel like even Javi has to be like, dang, I messed up. Like, I got to do better. I hope. I hope. I know I'm going to have some comments like, girl, no, he didn't. Javi is Javi. He's going to be a douche till the day that he dies. But I'm just going to hope that after losing his family, my dog just yawned. <laughs> I'm just going to hope that after, like, losing his family due to his actions, not being able to be faithful, that he has finally realized that he's messed up and that the only way he's going to have a family and have that life is if he straightens up and stops being a cheater and stops being a douche lord, you know? So, you guys leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think that Javi is capable of changing? Do you think this is his rock bottom? And now seeing that, like, Lauren is going on doing her thing, you guys. Like, I thought Lauren might, like, might would give Ian and go back. But she's doing her thing. She's going on trips. She's working her little ML, MLM business. And, you know, she's doing her thing. She posts pictures of herself looking so cute, dressed up, having fun. And I think Javi absolutely sees, like, dang it, I messed up. I'm, I'm missing out, you know. Um, so, yeah, I think he's remorseful. You guys let me thoughts in the comment section below if you guys think that he's remorseful. If you guys think that he is capable of changing. Um, and let me know your thoughts about the shade that they threw after he posted that heartfelt message. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel right now if you have not yet. Make sure your post notifications are on so you are notified of each time I upload a new video. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, everyone.